fifth day grade six learners and welcome to our happy mathematics class please click the subscribe button and like this video thank you hello grade six learners isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat kumusta kayo sana ay okay na okay na okay kayong lahat at handang handa para sa ating aralin ngayong araw our topic for today is multiplication of fractions. So, these are the steps in multiplying fractions. First, multiply the numerators. Then, after multiplying the numerators, multiply also the denominators. And then, express your answer in lowest term or reduce to lowest term. For our first example, we have here 5 over 8 times 3 over 4. So, in multiplying fractions, sabi kanina, the first step is to multiply the numerator. So, let us multiply the numerator. Numerators, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And then next, multiply also the denominator. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Then, if possible, reduce it to lowest term. But then, 15 over 32 is already in its simplest form. Wala na po siyang common factor. Wala nang common factor ang 15 at saka 32. So, our final answer is 15 over 32. Ganun lang siya kadali. For our second example, let us have 2 over 6 times 3 fourth. Okay, so again, multiply the numerator, numerators I should say, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and then 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Then, kung titignan natin, we can reduce this to lowest term, by divide them, divide them, dividing them both by, 6. Tama? 6 is their common factor. So, 6 over 6. That is equal to 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. So, 1 over 4 or 1 fourth is our final answer. But look, there's another way on how to solve this second example. Sulat natin siya ulit. 2 over 6 times 3 over 4. We can use cancellation. Paano yung cancellation? Titignan natin kung may common factor ang numerator at denominators. So, titignan natin dito, yung 6 at saka 3 ay may common factor, which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and then 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Yung 2 at saka 4, may common factor din, which is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, multiply na lang natin yung mga natirang numbers. We have here, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And then, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 1 fourth, which is the same with our final answer. Dun sa nauna nating process, or naunang way. So, kung gusto mo nito, okay lang. Mag-multiply, then mag sa lowest term. Or kung gusto mo naman gumamit ng cancellation, okay lang din. Let us try another method in solving example number 2. So, kanina, yung first method natin is, katagaya ng example number 1, minultiply natin yung both numerators and denominators, then nag-reduce tayo sa lowest term. 
Sa pangalawa naman na method, gumamit tayo ng cancellation. Ano naman kaya ang gagawin natin dito sa pangatlo? Dito sa pangatlo, ganito naman. Makukopyahin ko yung 2 times 3 and then 6 times 4. Pagkatapos, kopyahin ulit yung 2 times 3 and then we're going to factor yung 6 at saka 4. Paano? Yung 6 can be factored into 2 times 3. Ito siya. 2 times 3 is the same as 6. And then, yung 4 naman, pwede natin siyang i-factor into 2 times 2. Yung 2 times 2, saan ang galing? Dito kay 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Bakit natin yan ginawa? Para makancel natin yung mga common factors. So, itaas, makancel na lahat. That is now be equal to 1. And then, sa baba, ano yung natira? 2 times 2, which is 4. And our final answer is 1 fourth. So, I presented 3 ways in answering item number 2. But you can only choose 1. Kahit isa lang po ang piliin mo, kung alin dun sa tatlo ang pinakamadali, yun ang susundan mo. Pag may mas madali ka pang alam, okay lang. What is important is, you follow the correct process, and then, you get the correct answer. For your additional activity, you can answer item number 1 and item number 2. And please, type your answers in the comment section below. Thank you for listening. God bless and ingat lagi. Bye-bye!